Hey, so I'm Deejin, this is Diablo Immortal, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to get the vessel of Ibn Fod's tenacity. I probably butchered that name, but you'll see it in the title, I'm sure you'll see it on the screen, you'll see it in the description, probably in the comments. And uh, it's just going to be how to get it. How do you get this thing? Is it a random drop? Do you have to clear this whole entire shrine in order to get it? Um, this is the vessel for the legacy of the Haradrim shrine, and it's the very bottom middle one. And yeah, so I was wondering, I didn't know how to get it. I was like, is it just RNG or does it come? This is a full clear here. Now I'm going to clear the entire thing, every chamber, every chest, all the bad guys, whatever. And you'll see that I don't get it. It actually doesn't drop in an entire full run. Now I have a screenshot from somebody in my guild who got it off the first key chest he opened. And as you can tell, if you're familiar with this place, as you go farther and farther in, the more boxes you open, the more expensive they get. Every time you open a box, the next one costs more keys. So you need a total of 377 keys, if my math is correct, to open the whole thing. Um, maybe go with like 380 just to be safe, but I believe I did it with 377 if I math that out properly. Now, um, yeah, so you'll get a ton of calling stones while doing this if you're going to, and that's the thing you feed to your vessels to level them up. Um, but you'll get a ton of these stones when you open these boxes. But again, it's just RNG. I don't know how the rolls work. I don't know if the higher level the boss, box, boss? I don't know if the higher level the box, uh, the more chances you have at getting the vessel. Uh, it doesn't say anywhere. I have no idea. I know my guildy got that vessel out of the first box. And I know I did a full clear and didn't get the thing at all. So it seems like it's just completely RNG. So if you want to do full clears, you can. Um, otherwise you can just spend the keys as you get them if you're trying to just get that thing and you hope to get lucky. Now if you do full clears there is a bonus chest at the end and we'll see that momentarily. Uh, so you might get more extra culling stones compared to you know more bang for your buck on the keys basically. Um, but I'm unsure because I don't know how, what, like, say you open a chest that costs 36 keys. Are you going to get the same value as if you would just opening a chest that costs 8 keys? You know, I'm unsure about all that math. But what I do know is there is a bonus chest at the end. So it might be worth hoarding up enough keys every time, every rotation to do uh, a full clear of this place. Now, I saved just a few days and I was like already in the hundreds for keys so it's not super hard it might take a couple of weeks or whatever I'm not I didn't actually pay attention to how much it cost or how long it took rather but uh yeah so anyways yeah the as far as just getting the vessel goes it seems like just RNG I didn't get it I don't know if it even can drop out of the bonus chest at the end you'll see the bonus chest see how that chest that cost keys drops like 33 of each roughly give or take this only drops one of each so i mean it's a lot a lot come out but it's not stacks so it is definitely good because it's just free gems that you didn't have to spend a key to get sorry not gems but culling stones but uh yeah basically all i'm trying to say is to get the vessel it's just rng um you can do a full clear of this place you might not get it you could open one single box and you might get it so it's just rng that's just how it is. Uh, and that's pretty much it, I guess. Now, the value for your keys, it might be better to do full clears. I already stated that, and now I'm just repeating myself, I guess. But yeah, that's pretty much it. The the Fahad, Ibn Fahad's tenacity evades me still. It's that bottom middle one. I'm sure a lot of people are missing it. And if you're a veteran, you probably already know everything that I just said. Sorry, I don't have like a get-rich-quick scheme to get that thing guaranteed or anything like that. But... This is just what I have figured out or whatever, whatever I've been able to find about the thing. And yeah, so hopefully watching this full clear was able to show you guys that it's not guaranteed. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Like, uh, hopefully this helped. I know I was asking the questions myself. I've been curious about this thing the whole time because I've been missing this. The rest of the vessels are pretty easy to get. They're pretty much guaranteed to get from certain bosses. This is, I believe, the only one that boils down to RNG. I could be wrong, but I think it is. And I noticed this is the one that a lot of people are missing. So hopefully this video helped. I don't have it myself. A couple of people in the guild have it. So we know it's real. 
and it's possible. Also, if you check people on the leaderboards, you'll see a lot of people on the leaderboards have it too. Like a lot of the top people will have it, but then randomly some of the top people don't have it. So whatever, it's RNG. Anyways, hopefully this video helped. Um, I stream this game almost every day, so check out my Twitch if you wanna come and hang out and discuss things live, or just you know hang out while you play yourself. And other than that, have a great day. Thanks for watching, hope this helped. And see you later. Bye.